Hello everybody, Conti here with another video. How to create your own honeycomb image background in DaVinci Resolve 17.2. Inside your project edit window, go to effect library, underneath toolbox, select generators, and go to find the solid color option. We will use this generator to incorporate the yellow shade that will make up the outline of our honeycomb cells. Click and drag one of these generators to the start of your edit timeline. With the solid color edit selected, go to inspector and under generator, double click on the color box and type in the following hexadecimal code into the HTML box, hashtag FCFF15. Click OK. Return to the effects library options, choose effects, and go to find Fusion Composition. Click and drag one of these effect filters to a video track directly above your solid color edit. Ensure that the start and the ends of both of these edits are parallel with each other. Using the Selection Mode tool, which you can also do by pressing A, to click and drag at the end of these edits to adjust the length if you wish. By default, both the solid color and Fusion Composition edits will have a screen time of five seconds each. Go to right click on your Fusion Composition clip and select Open in Fusion page. In order to create the hexagonal structure of the honeycomb cells, we need to incorporate multiple rectangular shapes. In order to do this inside your Fusion window, hold Shift and press Space to open up the Select Tool window in your Nodes panel. Use the search box at the bottom to find the Rectangle tool. Select this and go to click on Add. In order to add colour to the honeycomb cell, hold Shift and press Space again, and this time go to add a background tool. Select the grey box to the right of rectangle 1, and drag your mouse cursor to the blue arrow to the left of background 1 to make a connection. Do the same with background 1 and media out 1, connecting to the yellow arrow to the left of the final node. Select either the left or right view options directly underneath the Media Out 1 node so that you can see a preview of your rectangular shape on the Fusion window. Select the Rectangle 1 node once again. Go to Inspector and underneath Controls, change Width and Height to 0.1. Now select Background 1, return to Inspector in order to create a glossy honey appearance inside the cell outlines, we will need to use multiple color shades. Underneath color, change type from solid color to gradient. By default, in the gradient bar below background, the triangular node underneath the black shade will be automatically selected. In order to change this color shade, double click on the color box below and type in the hexadecimal code hashtag D3581B to make up the light orange colour which will make up the honey. Click OK. To enhance the orange shade inside the shape, change the gradient value underneath the colour bar from 0.0, .0 to 0 0.5 so that 50% of the gradient shade is made up of a strong orange shade. In order to bring out more of the white shade, Select the triangular arrow node underneath the white shade at the end of your gradient bar and change the gradient value from 1.0 to 0.65. And change the layout of your gradient shades by going to Gradient Type and changing from Linear to Radial. What we need to do now to create the cell is to create duplicates of this particular rectangle. With Background 1 selected, Hold Shift and press Space, and go to select the Duplicate node. The cell will comprise of three rectangles altogether, and so under Inspector and Controls, change copies from 2 to 3. In order to create the hexagonal shape, change angle from 0 to 120. In order to spread the gradient shade across the entire hexagonal shape instead of inside each individual rectangle, change operator from over 
to in. With duplicate one selected, hold shift and press space and go to add the transform XF tool. Adjust the center X and Y coordinates so that this first cell of our honeycomb will be in the top left corner. I'm going to left click on the red arrows in the middle of this shape and drag manually. Ensure that you can see the entire shape on your checkered background. I'm going to drag the mouse cursor to the left of the shape, hold in control and scroll up using my mouse. Use command instead of control if you are a Mac user to get a better view of the honeycomb cell. Change angle to 90. To add a basic three dimensional effect to your honeycomb, we will apply a shadow to each of the cells. With transform one selected, hold in shift and press space and go to select the shadow tool. To shift the shadow to the left side slightly, decrease shadow offset X to 0.495. And to move the shadow upwards at the same distance as we moved it left, increase Y to 0.505. Double click on the shadow color and change the shadow color to dark brown by entering in the hexadecimal code hashtag 35170E. Click OK. To add some transparency to your shadow, change alpha from 1.0 to 0.75. Adjust the zoom settings on your media out window to fit so that we can see the whole canvas once again. Now to add duplicates of the cell that we have just created to make up the rows and columns of your honeycomb maze. With shadow one selected, hold in shift and press space and go to add your second duplicate node. Go to inspector and under controls for duplicate two to create enough cells that will make up more than the width of your canvas, change copies from two to 20. And in order to spread these duplicate cells out towards the right side, change center X to 0 0.5666. With duplicate two selected, hold shift and press space again, and go to add a third duplicate node, which will enable us to make up our second honeycomb row, which will be placed diagonally to our initial row. Once this is set up, we can use the two initial rows to make up the rest of our honeycomb columns. Under inspector and controls, to shift the second row of cells downwards, change center Y to 0 0.4. And to shift the second row to the right slightly, change center X to 0 0.534. Ensure that duplicate three is selected. Hold shift and press space. And go to add your fourth and final duplicate node. With duplicate four selected, increase copies to 10. And spread these duplicates of these two initial rows downwards. Change center Y to 0 0.3. With duplicate four selected, hold shift and press space and go to add your second transform XF tool. With our latest transform tool selected, go to inspector. At present, there are transparent gaps between the top and left sides and the honeycomb background. In order to fill these in with the same texture, underneath controls and transform, increase size to 1.1 and to hide the smaller transparent gaps at the top and to create a symmetrical appearance on the horizontal and vertical sides, decrease center X to 0 0.49 and increase center Y to 0 0.54. To add an additional glossy shine to your honey, return to your edit window. Under toolbox, select open effects and go to search for the light rays filter. Click and drag one of these to your fusion composition clip. 
select the Fusion composition, go to Inspector, and under Effects, find the Light Rays Properties. Under Position, change Ray Directions to At an Angle. Ensure that the angle is minus 30. To add extra blur to your rays, increase Soften to 0 0.1 and to reduce the intensity of the light ray slightly, decrease brightness to 0 0.2. Thank you very much for watching. I hope that video was useful to you. If you enjoyed the content and wish to be notified about future uploads on this channel, please like, share and subscribe. Join me soon for another video. Take care.